Hi there, Prepper 21. Excuse the background noise, but I'm out here on 268, typical bike ride. It's uh, in between football games on Sunday, January 10. And wanted just to give a quick view of you know, what people could consider when you're considering adding exercise to your routine, your workout. You get in some good scenery at times. Don't mind the noise around you. And what I have is just an old Schwinn bicycle. Got this in 2014 right off the shelf. It's um, just a typical road bike hybrid, nothing special, a couple hundred dollars. I just want to show that you don't need a whole lot of things to put biking into your life, regardless if it's winter time, like it is now, because some days, on the weekends, we've been lucky. Saturdays or Sunday afternoons, there's been a break in the weather and good enough to go riding. So I thought about doing some other video today. Building a fire in the backyard and such, but I needed to get on the bike and get some wheels get some movement behind me so I am not uh, prescribing this is how to do it this is how I do it I advise you to take any exercise in consultation with your medical professional so but you know Walmart run-of-the-mill bell hat okay it's actually it says Schwinn but um, Usually the bell ones are there too. I've got a side view mirror here, which is always really handy. And, you know, nothing too fancy. This came, this is an e bike fire light with four modes. And it came with a companion here. You can tell, you know, sometimes I have to jerry rig stuff. That's why as a prepper, you always keep duct tape handy. I got reflectors on the tires. This is just uh, some cheap uh, tire reflectors I got off of eBay. I got a bell. You know, simple, you know, like a little kitty bell, but it's loud enough. Got that at Walmart or on Amazon. I'll put links to some of these things in the video. But the point is you don't need a fancy bike and you don't need a lot of money to get real biking into your life. You know, we have a machine at home, uh, but again, how much are you going to get in at home? You got to get up and down, real heels. I like to go fast, so this helps a lot. And it's not, again, it's not fancy. Tires have been changed, I don't know. Oh, probably twice, two or three times a year, maybe, because I commute to work, so I know what I'm talking about. Other material I carry with me. And I've been biking my whole adult life and really have added it a lot to my commute, uh, which I don't do so much anymore, so that's why I do it now. So, bright jacket, nothing fancy. Bought this on our honeymoon 20-some years ago, okay? And uh, look, it's still nice and clean. It comes in handy in the wintertime even with a warm hoodie underneath. Got a simple backpack shoulder pack whatever you want to call it here some extra water towel a little bit of first aid kit a headlight a little bit of food and again like i said first aid kit got some gum in here um and a tire repair tire change equipment over here got an air pump simple air pump less than ten dollars if I was going to be going somewhere and locking it up I'd lock it I have a u-lock I've had the same u-lock for years and I'd ride that clipped on to here but no need to carry the extra weight today and let's see over the years you know Schwinn holds out pretty well but I probably replaced this whole rim and that rim at least once each and replace the chain at least uh, maybe maybe once or twice in six years so it holds out really well with you know the right kind of equipment again you don't need to be fancy uh, today it's been you know quite chilly and coming down some of these hills having a face covering on comes in handy a little bit 
you know, I got glasses. I recommend, you know, anybody wearing goggles because you never know what's flying around on the roads here. And it's a shame, this whole road, you know, it's a shame. All up and down here is littered with trash on uh, either side. Um, I'd film more of that, but I don't want to. This is a prettier sight here. So again, the point is to be able to take whatever you consider a situation. As you see all these people, you know, whatever quarantine or restrictions are going on, everybody else is going about their business. So you, you got no excuse for making sure that exercise gets to be part of your business too as we progress through the next few months, especially in this winter when we have to remain our healthiest. So get prepared, get some exercise into your routine, get some weight training into your routine, and yeah, you know, take it out on the hills too. It's a lot of fun, it's good for you, 